Hello everyone. Today uh, I'm going to take a new topic uh, that is motor runtime. How to calculate the motor runtime? Okay, with the example we are going to see now. So first of all, what I do is I create one function job here. And I have In the symbolic and mass method and time. That's what we have to calculate the method and time is uh, when the motor is on <clears throat> and it is going off after some time, right? So I want to calculate the duration of how long the motor was running. Okay. So to store that value, you hang one option in a B function block. Okay. In this, uh, in the interface, <clears throat> you can see an option is where it is stack. And here, all the same function and function block. Okay, how to create function and how to create a function block using DB. So, in DB, what is happening? It is storing the data or information of your function block or this, right? So, here in this, again, you see, uh, just like in FC, we are having in, out, in, out, in, out, so we are having the same thing. But one additional thing is that it is stat. Stat means static. So here it is also taking uh, <clears throat> some memory address from DB. Okay, so what are the parameters we define here? It takes an address. But when you are calling this FB block in your OB to execute, there you will not find what are the parameters we define here in that block. Okay, so it is story, it is like uh, storing data in the backend in some memory. Okay, and you can take that address to display in SCADA or XMI also. Okay, let's see that example. Under inputs, I define some parameter like start. <coughs> Stop. And one more is here, slash bit. I will define then for motor. I define this in in out. And in the start, I'll define two parameters. One is runtime or <clears throat> you can just mention motor runtime here. So not only for one motor, you can add other motor one, motor two, motor three, and time like that. <coughs> you can define so many motors. Okay. So here you can see data type. This should be integer or double integer, whatever you want. Okay, that you can select. Okay, then I define one more parameter that is pH means positive edge. <coughs> positive edge means it generates one pulse. Okay, we need to generate pulses. Okay, uh, to calculate your time. Now, here I make a logic. We we'll start. Motor. Motor. So the latching circuit. Now, so when I give the start command, motor goes on, right? The next network, when the motor is on, I take your flash bit status. It can be a no entry, any contact you can take here. Then this will be flashing. Okay, I can take a uh, one second flash. Okay, for every one second, it will be flashing. So it is giving <coughs> signal to a point to which. Yes. <coughs> then I take one 
integral function that is add instruction here that I give motor runtime. So for each pulse, I want to increment by one, just like for example, a is equal to a plus one, right? So that uh, if you remember this, right? So if a is zero, zero is equal to zero plus one, that becomes zero plus one, one. So your a becomes one again. So one is equal to one plus one. So it's an incrementing order, right? That same concept I'm using here in add injection. A, there's your output, okay, is equal to a plus one. That will be incrementing for each pulse. Okay, now I save this block. See here, I have defined this runtime and point regime start, right? A static memory. So just save this block. Now open OV1 and call this block at B in OV1. Here you can do some deviators like DB, do something. Say yes. And here I give the addresses I0.4. I zero point five for slash bit and zero point five I get one five means it's a every one second flash, right? So here Q zero point five something I get. Okay. And also I just save this. I go to the hardware condition. Here in this hardware compression, I need to activate a clock timer, right? That's your uh, <coughs> CPU clock. So I'm double click on CPU, second clock memory, select clock memory. This is byte number zero, okay? For this byte number zero, we're using bit number five for one second class. So, okay, save and compile. Okay, I need to download this, right? So, what I do is after save and compile, I go directly to the somatic manager, select blocks. So, when you do save and compile, it is generating this folder system data, which is like your hardware foundation only. Okay, so it will download this system block as well as uh, OBS, FCS, whatever blocks are available. All the blocks at a time from here. Okay. Let me download hardware also. Yes. Yes. Now, I will do what you want. Then I can monitor the step. You can see flash of it is flashing here. So when I do the start input here, so the start input 5.4. The motor is on. Okay, I want to see the time. Okay, for that you can go to Matic Manager, open DB2. Here you can see it is offline right now. When I go to monitor. You can see here it is showing the status motor runtime value 34. It is in seconds, okay, in terms of seconds. 39, 7, 40 seconds. So you can write a formula for converting these seconds into hours also. So let like me stop the mind. You stop it. If I give the input again. And again, when the motor is on, it will again start the function. If I stop, it will stop. Mm. Okay, for one integer, what is the maximum value you can store is 3 to 7, 6, 7. Okay, minus 2 plus. Okay, minus 3 to 7, 6, 8, 2 plus 3 to 7, 6, 7. 
okay if you need more than that okay that will be uh, we'll say here for integer it will be like a uh, uh, three to seven six seven seconds we can count here but if uh, you want more time go for the double integer okay use a add double integer uh instruction okay okay the double <coughs> integer instruction add So instead of this, we take DINT and uh, for here this instruction, we simply take add underscore DINT. Okay, so it will go up to like um, more than minus two, one, four, seven, four, six, three, or some value there. Okay, so it will be a reach for value. Okay, we using this runtime value, okay, address. You can see that address here in DB. What's the address here? DB2 dot DB W4. Okay, using this address, you can use uh, addition and uh, what's the uh, time calculator formula. Okay, you can convert these seconds into hours or minutes. Okay, that way you can display that. Format in our source. Now, it is about the motor runtime. 